A kid's place was built in 2009 so siblings would no longer be separated from each other during their greatest time of need. Here at a kid's place, we can live together in a home like a family. A kid's place provides us with so many things, clothes, a comfortable bed, and family dinners. We also have classrooms, playgrounds, and a basketball court. We have people who care about us, help us, and provide services that we need. Now we have a safe, comforting place to call home. We work on our colors, we work on our shapes, our letters, our matching upper to lower, our writing. Uh, social skills are so important, learning how to interact with each other and to do it in a positive way in which they can resolve their problems and learn to share, take turns, and build those interpersonal skills so they can go forward with that. When she first came in, it was her and her sister that came into my classroom because they were aged three and five they both were considered special needs. In essence, when they came, they laid on the floor, they knew one word, which was no, they still drank from bottles and used diapers, and that was basically it. This child came from knowing one word and not capable of interacting at all, to speaking full sentences, to writing her name, and I just, it makes me tear up just a little bit, because I just think to myself, if she would have just gotten placed in that position and not given an opportunity. What could have possibly happened to her? As house parents, we are providing security, love, care. The children, you know, have different uh, types of situations that we're dealing with, and we have seen an outcome where they are comfortable, they are healing, and they love. We sit together as a family at uh, dinner time and at lunch time we have several children they come home from our toddler class and we sit down we talk we ask them what is the best part of the day for you at school uh, at night time they ask us to tuck them in we do and it is just a very good family feeling uh, during these times what brought us to a kids place as house parents uh, we had retired. We thought there's more to life. There's, there's more that we should be doing to give back. And that's what got us into house parenting, the need to give back. The need is great and it opened our eyes and especially here in the uh, Tampa Bay area. It's important to keep siblings together in this kind of setting. They've already been removed from their families and the need for them to come together and to uh, reassure one another uh, is, is obviously so great and uh, this is unique to a kid's place. They come uh, fearing everything. I mean the law has stepped in, removed them from uh, a hostile family environment perhaps and so getting them back to square one that um, it's safe here. As soon as you step in you, you kind of wonder uh, what a residential group home is all about but you come here and it's a neighborhood setting on five acres it's something that we have never uh, seen in our entire uh, lives beautiful homes a beautiful playground trees uh, so natural of a setting where kids can uh, have neighborly friends and that's one of the uh, important things about a kids place bringing normalcy into a very abnormal uh, prior life Kids Place has served as a safe haven for more than 800 foster children, just like me, keeping sisters and brothers together as a family. But we can't do it alone. Over our years at a Kids Place, we have learned so much. We are happy to have shared this experience with you guys. You have taught us so much, helped us through our worst days and our best. We are happy to have met people as loving, caring, and open-hearted, and as selfless as you all. So as our days end together, we want to say thank you for everything you have been able to provide us and help us with. We can truly say that we have had the best years here because we have spent it with people like you. We wanted you to know this because we care and love you. Thank you for everything.